guys, it is Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. I've got a very, very fun song for you guys today. We learned how to do Money Money. So this is the Billy Idol version, probably the more popular version, uh, of the, uh, was it Tommy James and the Shondells was the original to do this. I have it written down on my feet. I did not know that. Um, and, uh, but anyway, this is Billy Idol's version that he did on his, EP, his Don't Stop EP. Now, later on, Billy Idol had another version of this, a live version of this, with Steve Stevens on guitar, which is very popular. I'm not doing that one with all Steve Stevens stuff on it. I don't know. Kind of uh, maybe some of the things on it I I'll do. Um, but it's more kind of based on that original version. So that beginning where it was pretty much keyboards that you're hearing, kind of sent. I'm kind of doing that on guitar. And then, um, so, but I'm not all the, kind of, on the live version, Steve Stevens adds a lot of solos and stuff. Um, so it's not going to be exactly like you'll see Steve Stevens play it live. Let's just say that. He tends to really vary his parts as time goes. So you watch play the mid-80s, and now you watch it play 30 years later. And he's always kind of messing around with it, finding new things to do. And he's a pretty creative dude, so he's not going to play the same way all the time. So instead of trying to tackle all that, I'm just going to kind of stick with kind of the original version and, and kind of base this on this. So it's going to be pretty simple uh, to follow. Um, now, before I get into it, please subscribe to the channel if you have not already and ring the notification bell so you'll know when I release a new video. Um, and please, if you really want to support what I do here on YouTube, um, check out my Guitar Academy. It's the best way to support what I do on YouTube. People ask, hey, uh, should I donate? Should I Join the Academy. You get something for it. You get full access to all my courses, and it really supports everything I do online, from my Academy to the YouTube stuff. Um, you'll see a link in the description below. Uh, it gives you a free seven-day trial to it, so you can check it out and check out all the guitar courses, covering everything complete beginner stuff to more advanced courses of technique, improvisation, ear training, theory, guitar tone, you name it. You get personalized support from me as well. So uh, click that link and please go check it out. All right, so let's jump into it. So I'm in standard tuning here, but fair warning, if you're going to play along with the original recording, it's not an A440 pitch. It's a little sharp. Um, now, I can tell they're playing an F because we see how the live recordings are just played. There, it's, it's where it should be. But um, like I said, on the original recording, it's a little bit sharp. So if you're trying to play along with it, it might sound a little bit weird to you. Um, so anyway, we're going to start with just kind of this tugging on this F chord. Kind of the, really the power chord version of it. So I'm doing an F bar chord in a second. You can base this off of full bar with the first fret, second fret on the G, third on the D, third on the A. But I'm really kind of when I'm starting off there, that intro of the song, it's just the kind of really the bottom couple strings I'm really. And then when the vocals come in, So that's just hitting the full F chord, then keep doing the little pulse of rhythm on the low strings, and then hit that chord again. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to a B flat major chord. So that's going to be uh, first fret on the A, third fret on the B, G, and the D. You can play that like this. I like to play it with my pinky, because it's, I don't know, but you can play it like this if you want. And then back to the F. So. All right, so I don't know the lyrics. I'm just kind of humming around. All right, so then we get to the pre-chorus, which is just. So that's just really kind of you start with it uh, with just letting that that F major chord ring out. Then it goes to a B flat major chord, which we did earlier. Let that ring out too. So it... now here, when we get to here, 
it's um they don't do this at least on the recording they don't do this every time but live they do it almost every time which is it's this little chromatic kind of lead up so it's really based around this c major chord so you can base it the same chord but up here right but you can really uh, if you need to move it around quick you just make it a power chord so that you don't have to play the note on the b string then you go down and play the first fret version of that the b flat then up to b and then up to c so we So it kind of does it, uh, space them out at first. And then you start doing them quick. Uh, so that's kind of what happens when it gets to the C. So we have this. to the verse there all right now you don't always have to do the chromatic thing so they don't do it every time in the recording either sometimes it just it goes up and then getting to the chorus riff there so it Sometimes it sounds good to just kind of play that you play the full C major chord. Just hit it. Kind of a, a little bit more um, in a row without pausing. So simplified version. So that would you can put that in the place of that. Or just You're gonna hear it both ways in the recording, so you can choose which one you want to do, really. Um, and then we get to the chorus, which is the fun part. So, like this. So um, that right there is, we had this. So this, uh, you can play this low note with your, um, with your index finger. I, I'm kind of taking it just on this F at least on, on with my thumb. But it's the first fret on the low E string, hit twice. Then the third fret on the D hit twice. Just the octave of it. Then back to the first fret of the D twice. And then back to the third fret of the D twice. Try this. And then just kind of repeat that for a little bit. So you repeat it, repeat it four times. And then we basically take everything down one string. So we're going to do it off that B flat chord. So that's going to be the first fret on the. Um, a string, third fret on the G, third fret, I mean first fret on the G, so it is same riff, same pattern. So it is. All right, now from there, we just go to that C ending. You can choose if you want to do the chromatic one. Or just, or I don't know. Just do the one that kind of sustains that C major, like this.
All right, now we get to the, this little bridge section. It's really the only thing else that's in the song. It, it will repeat that same kind of verse, chorus thing later on in the song. Uh, verse, pre-chorus, and chorus. Same stuff that we've already done. But there is a bridge section, which you can play it in many different ways. I've seen them play it. <laughs> play it there it's, you can play it down here so you don't have to move around as much so I'll show you both ways we had the, the F power chord so it's basically just the low E string first fret third fret on the A and the D and then we're gonna play these power chords right here instead of jumping up play it here we're gonna play it down here so third fret on the D fifth fret on the G then move that down to the E flat power chord which is gonna be off. it's the same thing two frets lower then we're going to move over to this C power chord, which is the third fret on the A, fifth fret there on the D, and then move that two frets lower to the B flat power chord. So we have this. Let's repeat that. Or if you want to do those chords and not something people don't like doing the, like the G string in there, it sounds too thin. You just play the same thing up here. So we have still the same bottom chord and then jump up here to the eighth fret power chord off the A string. Move that down to the six. And then the same thing, move over the string back to the eight. And then down to six. That's gonna have the same ending. Or last chorus just kind of keeps going there all right so it's got some fun riffs to play on it and it's kind of one of those songs those guilty pleasure songs that you just can't help to have kind of a smile on your face while you're listening to it and playing it so it's pretty cool especially when it gets to that uh that chorus riff. It's pretty simple to play but it's still it really moves and it's kind of it's, it's kind of fun all right so i hope you guys enjoyed it i'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com